Welcome to another Silk Central demonstration. In this video will show you how simple it is to create subscriptions to your reports. This feature will allow you to distribute important information throughout your organization in a quick and easy manner. Before we subscribe to the report, we'll first need to create a subscription schedule of when we want it to run. To do so, I'll hover over Reports and click Schedules and then Create a new schedule. Let's say we want our report to run every morning. In that case, I'll update the start date, which is the from field, and set the time to the morning. I'll do so by clicking and dragging to the appropriate time. I'll then set the interval to one day, so it runs daily, and since I'd like to have it run forever, for now at least, I'll keep this box checked. I'm also not going to add any exclusions or definite runs, but you certainly could if needed. Now with our schedule set, we can now go into our reports and set up a subscription to any available report, custom or global. In this case, I'll choose a global report. To set a subscription, navigate to the subscription tab and click add subscription. I'll then edit the name of the report and next we'll select the daily schedule we just created. Under results handling, we have a couple options on how people can view the report. We can send it as an email in PDF or data table format, or we can choose to generate a link to the report so we can post it to our organization's internal website or wherever else you'd like. If you'd like both options, you can simply create an additional subscription to the report and add the other delivery method. In this case, we'll choose to send a PDF version of the report via email. Next, I'll paste in the email addresses of the people I want to send the report to. And that's it. Now every morning at 8 a.m., the people we chose to send the report to will find an email containing the report in their inbox. The great thing about this is, whoever is viewing the report, either by mail or if you posted a link, can do so without consuming a license. Another great feature is, after your report subscription is created, it can be easily viewed in your dashboard. Just by adding a report subscription panel to your dashboard and selecting the subscription you just created. And there you go, a simple and effective way to provide visibility and decision-making support across your organization using report subscriptions. That's it for this demonstration. For more information, you can check out our online documentation page, enroll in web-based training, visit our online community, or check out our videos by subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.